doing right now, we have our big guy, Ted. Ted is currently having um, some thrown out food, some peanuts and some uh, apricot. And then he'll tackle the cube, which has um, also got some peanuts and some grapes in it. So he's going to be, he'll be doing that as soon as he gets done with the treats that he has in front of him. I want to welcome all of our uh, folks here to the North American Bear Center. And I'd like to welcome our online viewers that are with us today. Ted is now moving over to the cube. Ted took a long walkabout. He went um, all the way up to uh, Lucky's Den, at, to the bunkers, to visit Tasha. Tasha immediately left the area when she saw him. And then he just kind of walked down and said hi to Holly. And she um, kind of gave him some uh, gruff uh, words of which uh, means she's pretty much out of She didn't show any interest in him and moved over to the other side of uh, her enclosure. So uh, Ted came down. He was very happy to uh, be a part of this enrichment program today. So as we um, watch Ted working on the cube, it reminds us of how bears in the wild have to in their world to get the food they want. They just don't walk up to someone and say, I need food. They have to work for it. And so as Ted tries to figure out how to get the food out of that cube, he also is working on his mental abilities using his physical strength and also using his long sticky tongue to get the food out of there. Now, in the wild, they may be opening up a log with their claws or biting it with their canines to make a nice hole to get to the juicy insects or larvae that are inside. The insects don't usually give up their um, larvae real easy, and so they use their long sticky tongues to gain access to the proteins that they need quickly before the insects bite them. This works very well when they're getting into anthills or when they're opening up a beehive. Most folks think that, like Winnie the Pooh, they sit and enjoy this beehive and eat the honey out of it. When Really what they're doing is they're opening up the beehive to get the rich protein, the baby bees, the larvae from the, from the pupae. So when they open up the beehive, they're actually getting the pupae instead of the honey. Now the honey is a nice rich treat for them also, but what they're really doing is wanting the protein. A black bear's uh, diet in this area is only about 10% protein. And that really comes in the spring when they're walking and finding uh, deer fawns or nest eggs or any carrion that maybe a wolf kill left behind. So it's a very important uh, contribution to their diet. Here, our four bears, Ted, Lucky, Holly, and Tasha, they don't have to worry about carrion or deer fawns or having to work real hard to get something to eat because they get a breakfast in the morning, which consists of a raw egg, trail mix, and fruit, and they get treats all day long in the form of enrichments or behind the scenes where they're hand-fed by our interns. And then they get a big dinner, which includes trail mix, vegetables, and two fruits. So they eat very well here, and they also um, are supplemented with fish oil, and Ted supplemented with uh, glycosamine. So our bears um, are very healthy here, and they also have um, interesting things out in the enclosure to eat. And I see that the beaked hazelnut is uh, producing some flowers here. We have and the sarsaparilla is uh, also in bloom. So the bears have uh, much of the foods that wild bears would be eating available inside the enclosure, just at a smaller amount. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today and for those viewers that are here watching Ted. I hope that you're getting some really good pictures of We are open today till 6 o'clock. And if you're looking for something to do, maybe after you have your lunch and uh, 
want to take a visit in town, you can go to the International Wolf Center. They are located just across town, about three miles, and on the same side of the road. And they have um, ambassador wolves there. They educate about wolves as we educate about bears. And their interns will introduce you to their pack, which includes five wolves, two of which are Arctic. They have seven altogether, two are retired. So if you're looking for something to do, please give them a visit. Your wristband will get you a dollar off over there today. Also, for the viewers that are here on site, if you're interested in a membership or at all, we are a nonprofit organization. Please visit our uh, cashiers. And if you happen to go on TripAdvisor or any of the tools that you can use to uh, give shout outs to nonprofits, we'd be happy to hear from you, hear what, we're, uh, what you like about us, what your favorite bear is, and all the things that go with visiting the Ely area. So I want to thank everyone for visiting with us today. I also I uh, want to thank our online viewers and also our camera drivers, very important to us. Thank you so much. And we'll be with you again at 1 o'clock, and hopefully Lucky and Holly will be popping in for a visit. Again, Tasha is out and about, so if you see her, keep your eye on out for our three-year-old. She is uh, within the two and a half acres and um, free to roam around just like Ted is right now. I want to thank everyone, and we'll see you again and be with you at 1 o'clock.